What's up everyone and welcome back to another Call of Duty Infinite Worth Wait, no, not, not that A uh, random Sunday video But we are going to be having a Call of Duty Infinite Warfare theory on the most recent map, Shaolin Shuffle. Alright, so this theory, we are going to be saying, who the heck is the Rat King? Alright, so if you guys don't know, the Rat King is the boss that you face throughout the Easter Egg, and for the final stage of the Easter Egg, he has a very painful final boss, but, um, yeah, this character wasn't really explained that much in the naked eye. Nobody knows who he is. Everybody just thinks he's just some sort of rat king. That's hence his name. But um, nobody knows who exactly he is. And today, I am going to be giving you the full explanation of Arthur McIntosh. Let's begin. Okay, so it is known that Arthur McIntosh, aka which would be future known as the Rat King, was a um billionaire. He was rich, he was famous, and um yeah, he was just very rich and famous, I guess. But then after a terrible discovery, it turned out that he got his money from the money of other people, let's say robbing banks or I don't know, he somehow got money, but in the freaking magazine, and he's in Robert Bank. So, yeah, let's just say Robert Bank. So, he robbed the bank and got a whole bunch of money and became a billionaire. So, people found this out, and so they decided to hunt him down. So, Arthur McIntosh uh, retreated to the sewers. And if you listen to the radios, uh, when you unlock the hidden easter egg song, like I did, uh, it, it mentions that there was a rat infestation in the sewers during this time. So Arthur retreated into the sewers and he was depressed because he lost all of his money and he was a fugitive and cops were looking for him. So in one last desperate attempt, he got a... Thing people, some people call it Element 13, some people call it Vial 13. I prefer Vial 13, but whatever. So, anyway, so he got the Vial, and it is unexplained to this day on how he got the Vial. But if you buy one door in Shallow and Shuffle and look at the ground, there's a, another Vial, and it says Vial Trail if you look close at it. So, there was multiple Vials, so that somehow gives us a little details about the vials but anyways so he got vial 13 and drunk it in desperation and then it transformed him into a fully mutated man who can now control rats and he started out his life in the sewers and then a zombie outbreak occurred and he was the rat king and the sensei Pam did not agree with the rat king being in her sacred home so, when the four warriors, Andre, AJ, Point Dexter, and Sally, came to her dojo, she trained them, and by doing a whole bunch of tedious but somewhat fun steps of the Easter egg, they faced the Rat King one final time, and, uh, what's the name? Pam, Pam Greer, gets her katana, and finishes off the Rat King, ending the story of Arthur McIntosh. So that was the story and the full explanation of the Rat King. So if you guys want to uh, see yourself... Sorry, my mic cut out. But anyways, if you guys want to see for yourself the story of Arthur McIntosh for yourself, I already said that. Then, uh, look around the radios on the map and unlock the easter egg song. If you guys are not sure how to do that, there'll be a link in the description for a tutorial. But yeah, the radios do give you a lot of information. They give you stuff about off the Macintosh, they give you stuff about the Outbreak even, and they give you a few other stuff about the world that was going on in the 1970s of this New York City. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, have found this video useful on explaining uh, the Rat King. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.